jelly. We don't bother the jelly. We don't bother the jelly. No dinner. Okay, I'll bite. What does peanut butter jelly mean? Uh, I'm sure he's gonna give us some half-assed metaphor that he'll attempt to explain somewhere down the line, right? I got money, check the score, Chris. Don't do nothing unless you know they did. What? what? Sleeping patties. What you have? Okay, there's gotta be some explanation for this, right? What's, uh, what is peanut butter jelly? What is that? Is that some that term or some terminology a, I don't know about? Other than a sandwich. That's a young thugger thing. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> So he just got up, went into the booth, said whatever the hell he wanted to, and you guys are okay with this waste of studio time? With no explanation whatsoever? Is this the way it is now? Are we in some John Cage type phase of rap music where it's all about being absentmindedly random and just blurting whatever repeatable phrase comes to mind? Are we at the Jackson Pollock splatter painting phase of rap music? Because if so, someone let me know. Peanut butter jelly. Pe I say, man, what the hell is he saying? What does this mean? Anyway, peanut butter jelly, no jelly. I say, oh my God, he went even deeper. He want peanut butter jelly, no. not from a deli though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you realize this bull, right? That you're giving him credit as this incredible artist who's tapping into some unknown musical power when all he's doing is repeating what he had for breakfast. Let him, just let him go, just let him go. Mm. And usually, man, we end up at a, at a great place, man. You end up with blithering nonsense! This is the exact kind of random shit someone would say when the older folks in the music industry think you've got some finger on the pulse of young America, when really they're just getting away with rambling incoherent bullshit. This is why this tops my list. It's emblematic of a bigger problem of letting rappers get away with crap, simply because most people don't want to question them. And because of that lyrical limbo we allow rappers to get stuck in, they're encouraged to put wax shit out. I mean, if you think it's just stupid party music, I'm not talking to you guys. No, you understand what it is and that these guys are basically interchangeable. What I don't get is the delusional amount of praise that some of these rappers are getting from uh, publications and things of the like. Putting their albums on top 10 lists of the year. I, I keep hearing, Young Thug, Future, all these cats, yo, they come up with great hooks. But do we really believe that? Do we really think that they're doing something special? That there's some hypnotizing timbre in their voices and the way they arrange words that causes them to be popular? Do you realize that what you're saying basically boils down to giving a rapper credit for the arduous task of being able to say a phrase to a rhythm and then repeating it? Do you honestly believe that if I had made a song with those exact words, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, and it didn't become a relatively popular song, it has nothing to do with the marketability of its eccentricity. No, it's because Young Thug is the only one that could imbue these words with the grandiloquent iteration they require. No! They repeated a phrase, and your brain likes to notice simple patterns because it feels at its safest when things around it are nice and predictable. And hey, when I hear it all the time on the radio, my brain lights up to the recognition of the patterns also. But I don't act like these hook artists are in tune with the buzzing of celestial bodies to impart their wisdom upon us. They're just hook artists. You're going to forget them in two years because they didn't tell you anything that connected with you. And let's move on.